We need to stop worrying about grain boundaries right now. That's what's coming up. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, why not consider getting subscribed to help you succeed with GCSE Maths 2019. Okay, so every year around April and May, I get bombarded with questions regarding grade boundaries. What do I think they will be? Will they be the same as last year? Will they be higher than last year? Will they be lower than last year? Now the truth of the matter is, nobody knows. Grade boundaries do not exist until everything is said and done. The papers are marked, all the data is brought together and analysed, probably smashed into a computer and out pops the grade boundaries. So, the first reason that you shouldn't go worrying about grade boundaries and certainly shouldn't spend all your time searching for them is because they don't exist. They are not a thing yet. All that we can say is that yes, they will be similar to last year. They have to be. They cannot be drastically different. Other than that, that is all that we know. Now, this doesn't really matter. Think about it. If we did know the grade boundaries, then what actual use would it be to us? When we are in our exams, do we know for definite that we've got a question right? Do we know for definite that we've got a question wrong? No, we don't. Now, also, when you're sat in your exam, you don't want to be distracting your brain from the paper itself. So, if you had this target that doesn't even exist in mind, then what you're going to be doing in your exam as you're trying to attack the maths, then at the back of your mind, you're going to be keeping a tally of marks that you think you've got that you don't know for sure, and what that's going to do is distract you from where all of your energy should be going, which is in answering the questions on the paper. So, that's another reason not to worry about grade boundaries, because they are going to serve as a massive distraction in your real exam. Now, also, pretend that we did know these grade boundaries that don't exist. Say that our target grade, say we wanted to get a level 5. Now, sat in our exam, where we don't know if we've answered questions correctly or not, we don't know if we've definitely hit this invisible target, but are you going to get to a point and think to yourself, I think I've done enough to get a level 5, so I'll just stop working. No, you're not, are you? Think about your favourite football team, they might be 2-0 up with 20 minutes to go in the match. Do they just stop and think, I think we've done enough to win this? They don't, do they? No, because the other team could put it right back and come up and score 5 goals in the next 20 minutes. So, you don't just stop when you think that you've done enough. And, you never know, you might surprise yourselves uh, if you think you've maybe hit a level 5. If you keep on going, who knows, you might hit a 6 or a 7, maybe even an 8 or a 9. You never know. So, that's another reason. You never want to just think you've done enough and then just stop. In your exam you want to take these horrible exam boards for every single mark that you can. So that's another reason not to be worrying 
come out of the boundaries. Okay, now finally to the the exams, worrying about these invisible moving targets that don't even exist is such a waste of time, which is precious, and energy, which is this time of year is probably even more precious. Instead, focus your energies on something that you do have control over. So, start revising topics that give you problems. Do you know all of the formulas that you need? If not, check out my formulas video. And you can also download a printable PDF from that. Do you know everything that your calculator can do for you? If not, check out my calculator tricks video. Other than that, start now going through every single past exam paper that you can get your hands on. If you've done all of the ones from your exam board to the other exam board, it's all relevant. So, I have walkthroughs to every past paper from AQA and NXL on my channel. So, if you need help finding those at all, give me a shout. But as you're going through these papers and you come to questions that you find difficult, start making a list and then that tells you what topics to revise. Okay guys, I really hope you found this useful. I'm going to stick loads of useful links down below in the description. Make sure you take a look through those. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, I have big plans in the run-up to exam season, so get subscribed, um, it can only help. Okay, for now guys, take it easy, take care.